Hello guys, welcome back. It's another video here on the Man United career mode. Um, today in this episode, we're basically going to be doing a bit of um, a few signings and a few um, sales. First thing that we're going to do, I've been analysing some footballers to play on the right mid because so far today, well not today, but just gen in general my players have not been playing very well no, as in daniel james out on the right has just not been playing well oh. and i've got my youth right mid and he's pretty bad so um we're gonna go in for nicholas pepper he's 85 rated he's 25 years of age so hopefully we'll be able to get him i've also got a snazzy new coat i hope that this won't affect the video right okay look at that jacket like that's a horrible jacket. That is a strange jacket. You have to admit. It's weird, but hey ho. It's nice. I'm gonna offer a record transfer fee of sixty five million. He's probably gonna want more, isn't he? He wants eighty seven mil. I don't I'm not um doing that. Offer him seventy five. His price for Nicolas Pepe is set. Maybe if I do 80 mil then. He's stuck with that. I'm not off the 85 mil. Okay, he's accepted it. I might have overpaid for Nicolas Pepe. But I do need him in my team. Um. Also, in between the games... I haven't done much. The only player that I've signed is Lorius um, Carrius. Lorius Carrius. The um, football German keeper. Only because I need a new backup. Because I've also got Dean Henderson, who I've got up to a 99. I've got 96 Jesse Lingard, which I play with my youngsters team. But I was thinking, I need a new player. Like a new goalie just to... Go in between the sticks if I need him to. And so, I thought, why don't I get Loris Carrius? He's not the best in the world, but... Signed Pepe on a five-year contract lamp. And he is now at Manchester United. Come on. I was debating between him and Ice Milia Saar, the Watford guy. But I thought... Nah, mate. I think I think Nicolas Pepe will be better. Um, but yeah. So the only people that I've signed in between games is I've signed um, Sanchez and then Alexis. I said I loaned Inter, then got him back, then sold him to Man City, and then got him back again. I don't know how that works. I've also signed Joe Haas back up to the backup. I've I think I briefly told you about it last episode. I've got Davies, um, and Carrius, and then the other two players. Obviously, I've just signed Pepe. The other two players are I signed Willy Bolly from Wolves as my backup centre back, and Emerson from Chelsea, and I also bought. Lautro Martinez from Inter and I bought Cristiano Ronaldo to go up front. I was, and Grealish as well. I was debating to make a video about all these signings, but I thought that there's no real point. So, um, we've got a cup game versus Leicester. Um, I think, I might be wrong. Round of 64 in the FA Cup. It doesn't tell me if I'm at home or if I'm away. I'd guess that I'd probably be away, but I don't, I don't know. It's simulating. It says that I've got another cup game against Chelsea afterwards, but that might not be the same competition. We won 5-0. We're going to sim until the end of the month. So the only games that we've got are um, FA. I, I don't know what cup that is again. Oh, Carabao. Semi-finals, I, I, actually, I do need to know what the score is on that game. Um, it 
It was against Chelsea in the final. We won 3 0. Okay. So, for the month, in the month, we've got Prem Games versus Cardiff, Fulham, then Burnley, and then the Carabao semi finals against Chelsea again. I don't know why I've got semi finals twice. Um, and then we've got Brighton after that. So that will be January transfer window done. It looks like I'm playing Aston Villa in the final. I don't, I'm not sure. Wait, I don't know. That might not be the cow hour. That might be some other competition. But, um, yeah. We're playing a home match. Oh, no, away match against Burnley. And I think we've won. I'm not sure. I think we have. I've got, I'm going to try and keep... Oh, okay, the round of 32 FA Cup against Aston Villa. We're going to win this. Um, I'm trying to keep this video quite short because my camera keeps on lagging out. And it's not really, like, it's not filming all of it. So I get to, like, 10 minutes and then just stops it. And then, yeah. So, so far, we have one more nil against Chelsea in the semi-finals of the Cabarro. So, Agarot scored 4-0. Won 3 nil against Burnley. Won 3 nil against Aston Villa. Won 1 nil against Fulham. Won 4 nil against Cardiff. And next video, we've actually got the final of the Carabao, which I'll be playing against Liverpool. We've got some Prem games from Chelsea and West Ham. And we've got Ajax on the 23rd in the Champions League. Oh. Oh, no. Ajax. Oh, that's sneaky, that is. I don't want to sell Eric Bailly to Leicester, but... No, I'm going to reject that one. Oh, I don't... I actually try to be sneaky because they're trying to buy Rashford just before... Um... Yeah, they're trying to be sneaky. This is... Bad. Well, not bad. But I have Sergio Romero, the um, Argentinian keeper, but he's been, um, okay, his contract is running out, so I think that he's, I've sold a player. Who have I sold? Okay, so Sergio Romero is joining, um, Watford when the transfer window opens. To be fair, he's 33 and he's only 79 overall. Um, so basically, in games, I in between games, I've got my youth academy and I've got Peter. I've got loads of keepers. I've got Peter Bell. I've got Callum Jackson, Ed Brown, Billy Phillips, and yeah, that's it. Um, so they've all got their shirt tucked in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to exit out of the career and I'm going to go to Man United and untuck their shirts, change their boots and stuff because they just have the classic kits on. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all for today's episode. We're not going to do anything like... Um, like, we're not going to... We haven't done that much, but um, I'm just trying to keep them like 10 minutes long just so... We don't run out of time and then the camera lags out. Because that would be terrible. Um, but yeah guys, if you did like this, then please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And I have a problem because my youth keepers are not here. Poop. Um, anyway, guys, if you liked it, then please like and comment and subscribe. And I will hope... That I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully I'll get to play some more Man United career. Bye. Bye.